today in this session we are going to learn how we can use the json extractor in gmeter to get or extract some json data from the response so let's see that so for that purpose this is my i have already this you can say test plan which i have used in my previous uh, jmeter session so in this i have already shown you this thing like i have a great student okay and this great student uh, you can say request is uh, fetching the data from the you can say csv uh, uh, data file and just using it and then sending a response here so now let me first of all let me disable this uh, JDBC and let me show you this is working fine or not. So let me run it. So now let me clear or and now let me this one. So let me run it. So you can say that what is happening here. This great student is running fine and you can say that it is uh, it is uh, giving me the response and the response you can say this is the uh, G, uh, JSON response body and in response we have a ID. This is the ID of the newly created student data in the DB using the API. So if you see that if I will, uh, this is currently 1574. So let me clear it. And if I run it again, you will see that it will, uh, you can say create a another ID. Okay, so let me run it. And now let me show you this thing. So it means this API is working fine. So it is creating a new record. And in the response, I'm getting the ID. Okay, so now this is one thing. Second thing, let me do one thing. Let me enable this JDBC request step, which we have already seen in my uh, previous video that how you can connect or how you can uh, send a JDBC request to the uh, server using the JMeter. Okay, now let me show you what we are doing it here. So for the timing, let me disable this one. Let me disable this one. Okay, in the JC, JDBC request, you can see that currently I'm using the, I'm just trying to uh, trigger a query, select a star from a student where ID code four. Here, four is a hard coded value. Okay, I'm just, uh, just uh, sending a request here. So now let me go here and again, let me clear the data here and let me send and see that what we are getting here. So you can say that it is just uh, hitting the JDBC request and we are getting the data of the ID four here. Now you can see here. Okay, but now what we want to achieve here, what we want to achieve here, we want to achieve here that let me first enable it. We want to do one thing like we will hit the create student API. Okay, and whatever, let me clear it and let me run it again so that I can show you both things together. So you can see here either here in my JMeter, I first hit the create a student API and then in response, I got the ID here. Now I want to use this ID. I want to extract this ID from the response of create a student and then want to use in my JDBC request this part. So this ID equal to it should be dynamic here. So it should get from the response of the any other previous request. So how we can do it that we are going to learn it with the help of JSON extractor. Okay, so now let me clear it. Okay, so now what we are going to do, let me do one thing. Okay, let me do one thing. Okay, let me hit one more time so that we can see the structure. Okay, so in the great student uh, response, I will go to the response. So this is my, you can say response data. Okay, so how I can extract this ID from the response for that purpose, I will do one thing in my great student. I'm going to add one more new component that is called post processor. In the post processor, we will go for the JSON extractor. We will go for the JSON extractor and in the JSON extractor, what it will do, it actually it actually applies on the res uh, response of this request. So here you can uh, fetch any uh, JSON data from the response. So first of all, I will create a variable here, new ID. Okay, new ID, I'm just creating a variable. You can create any variable here. Okay, so what is the purpose of this variable? Whenever I extract some data from the response, like from the create student response, uh, this is the response. In the response, I'm trying to fetch the this ID, this dynamic ID 157, uh, 5577. So how you can extend? I need to write a, uh, uh, you can say, uh, extractor for that. Okay, so how we can write the extractor? We write the extract JSON path expression in this field. So how we can do it? Let me show you. It is start from hash. Then we write hash, oh, sorry, dollar dot. And after dollar, you have to follow the same hierarchy. Like in this JSON, let me copy this JSON separately in a edit plus so that I can show you. So let me do it. Okay. This one. And here you can say, let me make a wrap here. And now you can say, what is the structure? Let me uh, really show you the structure. This, uh, this, there is a result tag and under result, uh, we have a, you can say message. 
something like that message and uh, then we have message and we have two uh, you can see fields one is message and one is id here so now let me show you properly here so this is the you can say uh this is the proper you can say structure so in this why i have shown the json structure in such way so you can understand the hierarchy this whole is the this is the whole response which we are presenting with the help of this one you can say that this dollar and after that i'm writing dollar dot so what you want to get it you have to follow the hierarchy dollar then you go to the result okay dollar then you will go to the result dot within the result what is the hierarchy within result you have to go to the id because this is the child of the result so i will say that id okay so now i will go to here and in this i will write the id here so what it will do in out of all result it will extract the uh, whole response it will go to the result and within result it will go to the id so it will actually fetch the value of this id attribute from here okay so now what will happen this will extract the value from the create student response and it will store in this variable here so now this part is completed now wherever you want to use this data you can use this variable so i will go to my jdbc request and now instead of using here for i will use you can say dollar and then we'll use you can say i will use curly bracket and i will pass this value here Okay, so I'm going to use this way. This is the syntax to use the, you can say, any variable. I've already shown you. If you want to see that, I was using the same thing in my create student request. You can say that dollar and this curly bracket and the name of the variable here. So same, same concept. Whenever you want to use any variable, dollar curly bracket and the name of the variable, same I'm using here, dollar curly bracket name of the variable. Okay, now let me save it and now let me create the results here. So now you can simply understand what should happen when I will hit the request, create a student will run, it will generate a dynamic ID and that dynamic ID with the help of JSON extractor, I will get this uh, value of that new ID in the new ID variable and then we'll use it here. So this query will trigger with the new fresh ID. So now let me go to the visitor view result review, clear on and let me run it. So when I run it, you can check it here. If I go to the create student, it is generating a ID 1578. Okay. Now, if you go to the JDBC request, you can say that it is also fetching the data of 157 ID. So how it is happening? Simple. What is happening? Simple. When this create student is running from the response, this JSON extractor is actually fetching this particular value dollar results id if you want to fetch the value suppose take the example if you want to fetch the value of message what will the structure dollar dollar means you are talking about the whole json then dot results and within dot results you want to fetch this you can say this object message so it will return the matches for you okay so i hope you got it that how you can extract the value from the you can say any json response you have okay and then you can utilize it anywhere in your response Okay, if you have any question, you can put in the comment of this video. And if you like the video, you can uh, click on the like button. If you have not subscribed my channel till now, you can subscribe it. Thank you.